That's right. With God. Right. Amen. I have no millionaires that, amen, went to their house and uh, told me what they got. I got this. I got that. This came all the way from Europe and all that. I mean, one man, I forgot his name. He showed me one picture. He said, uh, Gino, I got this from Italy. It cost me $50,000. I oh. said, yeah, that looks like something I got from Home Goods. <laughs> Called me 1999. My Lord. Yeah. Amen. He looked, he looked at me. I said, really? Really? It's like something I got from Home Goods. Amen. Called me nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. My Lord, Lord that God, and I want to see can I get a discount off that? <laughs> I don't care. That's right. Yeah. That's Thank wonderful. God, I don't care what you have. That's right. When are you people going to realize you're nothing but a speck of dust? That's all. The only reason why you are alive today is by God's mercy. Amen. And when God snatched his breath from your nostrils, you're nothing. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. What did he say? For laying aside the commandment of God. That's what you folks have done. That's Amen. what you have done. I'm determined to hold in your face. That's right. In the face of creation. Amen. God commandment. That's it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Say, God, hold it right in your face. That's right. Turn to the left, turn to the right. You're going to bump up against God's tradition. That's right. God's tradition is Holy Ghost tradition. Holy Ghost tradition, Holy Ghost tradition is the orders and rules and regulations that God gave his apostles to lay discipline in his church. That's right. That's it. Huh? That's it. Not this religious farce. <laughs> All this antics. Take photo, take a selfie of each other and hold it up and say, Jesus, this. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Touch and claim and look at the neighbor next to you and say, neighbor, your hour is now. <laughs> One false prophet got before his whole congregation and just had the whole congregation of thousands yelling, money, come here. My Lord. The whole congregation, money. Come here, my Lord. Ain't telling nobody to repent. No. Ain't telling nobody to be baptized. No. Ain't telling nobody the end of the world is at hand. That's right. Ain't telling nobody prepare to meet God. Yeah. Not telling nobody the day of the Lord will come. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Laying aside the not preparing nobody. Nobody. Who will take God for the resurrection? That's right. Laying aside. Uh, laying aside the commandment of God. Laying aside. Amen. Many of you folks watching me now around the world, that's what you have done. Yes. Your bishop, your fake apostle, your fraud elder, your low life deacon, your half pint pastor. That's right. Took the word of God and pushed it aside for prosperity. That's right. Pushed it aside for money. Yeah. Push it aside because someone offered him a few dollars. Yeah. Amen. And he sold out on God like a cheap two cent hoe. That's right. That's right. Laying aside the commandment of God. Laying aside the commandment of God. Ye hold the tradition of men. I had a man write me and say, you brag about, yeah, you, you're not for sale. He said, everybody got a price. Mm. Not everybody, not me. No. I'm nobody's hoe. That's right. Eh? Nobody. I mean right. nobody. Nobody. You can offer me the world. That's right. You haven't offered me nothing because the world ain't yours. That's right. Eh? If Balak would give me his house. Notice the book of Numbers. In Numbers chapter 22 and verse 18. If Balak would give me his house. Full of silver and gold. Get it up. I cannot. Lord, thank God for silver and gold. I cannot. Go beyond the word of the Lord my God. To do what? To do less. To do less. Or more. I'm going to stay within the word. That's it. Hallelujah. There's nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. Here, 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 here the old man now. That's right. And I don't care if you don't believe it. That doesn't faze me. But when I say nothing, nothing I say. That's right. That you can offer me at all. That would make me second guess, bargain, or even give it a thought the size of a gnat's back tooth. Mm. Touching God everlasting That's right. word. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I've been offered millions of dollars. Oh, yeah. If I would just take the commandment of God yeah. and lay it aside. Lay it aside. That's what I said. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Logan yelled it for me. Amen. Lord, God, no. No. That's right. This would be a song which is saying, as a child, I've been serving Jesus a long time. Ain't got tired yet. Yeah. 
Then they yell, no, ain't got tired yet. That's right. And we have it. That's right. Wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't we take off. Amen. Not at all. Amen. It's amazing how these preachers will sell out on the cheapest. Yes, they will. You offer them a, offer them a, a few thousand dollars, they'll turn on God quick. That's right. Reject God. Just turn their back on them. That's right. And man, a woman can come in the church and switch her hips and make a few owls move over. <laughs> He'll offer her his pulpit chair. Yes, he will. Give me what the woman did to the king. And how the king offered half of the kingdom. That's right. Amen. I want to show you this now. In the book of St. Mark chapter 6. Many of you that are watching me now, this is your bishop. Yeah, that's Amen. Right. Sister Hips came in the church. Amen. Amen. Sister Hips came in the church and Mother Breast came in there. Ooh. And Sister Thighs came in there. That's Amen. Right. And missionary calf came in there. That's right. Amen. And took the whole pulpit and rearranged he everything. Arranged Amen. Turned your bishop to a two dollar hole. Turned your elder to a half pint hole. That's turned right. the pastor to a little mini a mini me pimp. Amen. It's sad what they done. Oh yeah. Do you hear? In the book of St. Mark, chapter 6, and at verse 21. Now, what the preacher do? The preacher now, the, the, the woman got him so bad, certain subjects in the Bible he won't even preach. That's right. Scared that she gonna look at him and give him the look. That's right. What? That's right. Or scared she won't let him land back in the bird's nest again. Mm. You bunch of crooks and heathens. Bunch of crooks. That's why you don't like Pastor Jennings, but I'm gonna preach it. God knows. That's right. God sent me to preach what you won't preach. Right. What did he say, son? In St. Mark chapter 6 and verse 21. I want to show you what hips can do to the pulpit if the pulpit is stupid enough to let them. Mark chapter 6 and verse 21. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 6, we're at verse 21. All right. And when a convenient day was come. Ah, it's <laughs> always a convenient day. It's a convenient day. Eh? And when a convenient day was come. It's always a convenient day. That's right. Amen. And every day for the false prophet. Is a convenient day. That's right. Uh -huh. And when the convenient day was come. When the convenient day come. That Herod on his birthday Herod made a supper to his Lord. On his birthday. Amen. Did what? Made a supper to his made Lord. Made supper to his Lord. High captains and chief estates of Galilee. Yeah. And when the daughter of the said Herodias uh -oh. came in. When the daughter of the said Herodias, Herodias came daughter in, came in. And danced. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What did she do? And, and when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod. I don't know what kind of dance she done. That's right. To my knowledge, there was no lap dancing back then. I don't, I, I don't think so. I don't know, Pastor. <laughs> never know. Never, never know. Amen. That's right. I don't know whether there was any pole dancing back then. But one thing that I know. Amen. Brother, she did something. That's right. She did something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's the way it is in many of these churches. Certain sisters get out there dancing and junking and all that flesh start wiggling all over the place. Bishop getting anointing. <laughs> That's right. He don't know whether to clap or whether... pat his feet. Amen. <laughs> you old sloppy mouth fool. That's right. You the sloppy mouth fool. Amen. Am I right? I said. Amen. That's right. That's right. Listen to the old troublemaker now. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced, and she what? And danced. Danced. You know, some of the women do that kind of shout. They shuffle. <laughs> and Bishop be right there. Amen. Why, why they shuffling? Bishop right there. That's true. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Bishop say he stands there because he don't want her to hurt herself. You old back catching pimp. <laughs> That's right. I right, listen to the old man. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod. Wait a minute. Amen. She danced and pleased Herod. And them that sat with him. Them that sat with him got yeah. happy too. The king said unto the damsel. What? Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt. <laughs> and I will give it thee. <laughs> Ask. 
of me whatever whatsoever you thou want. Will, and I will give it thee. I give it to you. And he swear unto her. Oh. <laughs> swear. And all she done was what? Danced. And, and when she danced, what did he say? And he asked of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. And all she done was what? Dance. And what did it made him say? Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. I wonder what kind of dance was that she done. What kind of dance was that? That's right. Please help. Hey, viewer. Is your pulpit vacant? <laughs> Amen. Because the uh, 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 church harlot came in? Yeah. Oh, yes. False church I came up in. I saw that happen. Yeah. From a pastor that I had, woman got in this ear so bad, made him change doctrine. Amen. Then another woman came in, mm -hmm. and they both teamed up together. My Lord. She made him change doctrine. Amen. Then the third woman came in. Amen. They all work together like three little pigs. Amen. <laughs> and he ceased to be yeah. the big bad wolf. Yeah. Took all this huff oh. and puff That's right. out of him. That's right. That's right. He was known for his strictness. Yeah. Known for his no nonsense. Right. Known for it. Till the three little pigs came. Amen. That's exactly what they looked like too. Three little pigs. <laughs> I would go in the office and talk to him. Why you don't teach this no more? You change this, you change that. His response was, it's unnecessary. Mm. For years, he taught the woman got to cover her head. Yeah. I preached that one night and one of the sisters was complaining. Yep. And then he took up the sister, went to bat for her. Yeah. He said, why are you preaching head covering? I said, you preached it. That's right. yeah. Because the sister didn't want to cover her head. He said, well, if she don't want to cover her head, she don't have to cover. I said, but that's what you preach. Yeah. Right. I don't care if your hips so wide, you got a basket on each of them. <laughs> Amen. There ain't a set of hips that ever come in the truth of God and change this doctrine. That's right. We'll beat your hips down to your knees. That's right. That's right. Dance all you want. That's all you want. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. What, what did she do? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. What did he make him say? And please, Herod, ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. She wasn't dancing in the spirit. No. Wasn't dancing to please God either. Oh, no. Please, Harry. Hey, viewer. Hey, viewer. Have your preaching changed? Have your pastor changed now? Hmm. Because of Sister Ruth. That's right. Sister Naomi. Yeah. Sister Mary went Magdalene on them. <laughs> That's right. What happened to Bishop? That's right. You can't find him now? He's supposed to be in the pulpit. Where is he? Where, where is he? At Mother Grethel's house. Mm. Have your bishop changed doctrine now? Amen. Because Sister Susan didn't want to obey something. Right. And to please Sue, he changed doctrine. <laughs> That's right. Did a woman come in and rearrange the entire organization? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. It's a breast that strong, her hips that good, her womb that tight. Mm. He changed the doctrine. Preach it, brother. Talk back to me. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Her womb is more important, more important. than the souls of the church. Go ahead. That you will lay aside God. That's right. Turn your back on God. Amen. That's what they do. They hey, do. viewers, your church is not the same no more, is it? Mm. Amen. 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 
Do you hear what the word said? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. That's why I, I could never see how can a man go to a club and come home broke. That's right. I could never see it. And all she did was come down a pole and shook her hips. That's right. Chest twirling all kind of directions. And you ain't got no money? No money left. That's all? That's all she did? That's right. Straddle across to you and grind on your pants and made you pee on yourself? Make it plain, brother. Make it plain. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you come back broke? That's right. Can't take care of your wife. Can't take care of your son. Can't take care of your daughter. Go ahead. Because she worked on you to piss on yourself? Go ahead. You don't work all week? Go ahead, man. Mm. You will never make me see the sense of it. Preach it, brother. Preach it. I love my wife. Put together like a thick piece of leather. <laughs> but that girl could never shake her goods right. and make me go broke. That's right. If she shake her goods, it's going to make me work more. <laughs> Hallelujah. It may sound funny, but do you know how many churches? Churches. Don't went bankrupt preachers done drained the whole That's church true. account That's right. of people hard earned money That's to pay off their girlfriends. That's right. Churches had to shut down. Yeah. Preachers that took the whole church account, left town. That's it have happened in apostolics. It have happened in Baptists. It have happened in Pentecostal and still happening. Still happening. It's something. He's about 70 and she's 21. Lord have mercy. He never needed extra oxygen until he met her. That's right. That's right. And this old fool talking about, oh, he make me feel uh, young again. That's right. Ain't nobody's thighs worth going to hell for. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you, woman, you got to be lower than a stray dog. Yes. To even try to encourage a preacher, a preacher to take church money? That's to right. satisfy your want? Satisfy you. Amen. This happens every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. The trash I came out of, besides when the preacher got older, didn't want to drive, besides having one of the brothers drive him, he had the women chauffeur him around. That's and when those three blind mice <laughs> <laughs> will complain to him about anything we preach, he had come out, come out of that office and lay, and lay us out. Yeah. Even though he'd been preaching it for years himself. Yeah. These three blind mice turned my former bishop against everything he stood for. Amen. And he started building up everything he destroyed, yeah. which made himself a transgressor. Right. Is that in your church, viewers? Right. Is that in your church? And in your church. Where the preacher died and willed the church to once to some woman? Yeah. Many of you watching me now, your bishop died. And then when y'all saw through the paperwork, the paperwork was left to one of the women in the church. Mm. And y'all had to take the women to the court to fight her to get it back. Right. I know of such cases. Because there was cases where people asked my help to help get the church back. Mm. Yeah, that's something. If I die, my wife's name ain't on the deeds of the church. That's right. That's right. This is God's church. God's church. Amen. This is not the Jennings family church. That's this right. is God's church. That's right. That's right. What I look like all this hard sacrifice and work 
that the people are doing, sacrificing, tithing, and offering, and help build the work of God. And then when I die, just to find out the entire organization is left to my wife. Mm. You ought to dig me up and burn me. <laughs> and whatever's not ashes, pull, take what's left, grind it in a coffee grinder <laughs> or a tree stump grinder, Lord. and then step on that. Many of you people have lost your bishop, yeah. have lost your elder, have lost your pastor yeah. over some hot pants. That's right. That's right. Over a thong. Yeah. A shoestring. Shoe right. <laughs> Walk around with a shoelace in your tail. Shoelace. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. Shoelace. Do you hear what the word of God says? And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. She danced. And please Herod. Please Herod. And them that sat with him. And what? The king said unto the damsel, so ask of me whatsoever ask thou wilt. me what you want. And I will give it thee. I give you anything. And he swear unto her. Wait a minute. Mm. He promised. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me. Whatever you ask of me. I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. Wait a minute. That's exactly where the bishops are today. Yeah. All she did was dance. Danced. She do a lap dance for bishop. That's right. Next thing bishop said, oh, I'll give you half of the entire movement. Half. I give you half of the whole movement. I give you half of the whole church. That's right. That's right. They don't preach this over there. No. Nah. Oh, no. Give you half of the whole movement. Give you half of the whole church. Half of it. Amen. Can you imagine that? Amen. How the church now became so insignificant, so worthless. Yeah. That you would put up breasts over the work of God. Over the that you would leave God work for breasts. Yeah. Are you that dumb? <laughs> That's right. Amen. You're so hell deserving. Yeah. And he swear unto her. He swear. Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me. I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. I will give you half of the kingdom. Come on, son. And she went forth and said unto her mother. Wait a minute. She had a wicked mama. That's right. In many cases, a lot of these young women is put up to do something by their mama. That's right. True. That's true. You know, anytime your mama puts you up, to approach any man. I mean, put you up to do it. Your mama is no good. Oh, yeah. Even if the man is not a preacher. That's right. If your mama put you up to approach any man, sister, your mama is no good. Amen. Your mama is rotten and you're rotten. Yeah. Both of you are rotten. Both of you. Get me? And she went forth and said unto her mother, what shall I ask? And she said the head of John the Baptist. If the king offer you to give you half of his kingdom, of the kingdom. you don't know what to ask. Mm. She asked her, her mama. That's right. What should I ask this man? And she said the head of John the Baptist. Kill, kill, kill God's man. Kill him. Kill him. Ain't that something to say? Amen. A young sister going to talk to you. You ask her, well, why do you talk to me? Well, my mama told me I should talk to you. Get away from her. Get away from her. Run. Yeah. Her mama, because the question is this. How many other boys did her mama send her to talk to before she saw your dumb self? That's right. And you think you got something good. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. I don't care if you speak in tongue more than all of Thessalonica. You ain't got nothing. That's right. That's right. Because once you back out of it, her mama going to send her to somebody else. Oh, yeah. And then when they back out of it, in other words, her mama trying to get rid of her. Yeah. Amen. You call it love. You're just a dump site for a fool. That's all. A mother just want to drop you off. That's right. Drop her off. Wrap her up. Drop her off at the steps. At the steps. And you call it love. It ain't love. It's a setup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. And she went forth and said unto her mother, what shall I ask? What? And she said. Shall I ask? And she said the head of John the I Baptist. want you to cut John head off. I, Why? Because that man gave me too much trouble. He's yeah, too, strict. too strict. He preached too hard. He always condemned things. That's right. He always hold God's word in his face. Talking about repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. I'm sick of hearing it. That's right. Kill John. Yeah. Shut him up. Yep. Yeah. And that's exactly what the devil do. The devil, everybody that comes to the church, God don't sin. 
No. The devil sends some folks to church to destroy what's in there. That's right. Because even the devil knows God said the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Yeah. But that don't stop her from trying. Right. Listen. And she came in straightway with haste unto the king. Wait a minute. Amen. She got in the area. I think she got that wicked advice from her mama. That's right. What did she do? And asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and hey, by. Hey, king. Amen. I will. That thou give me by and by. That you give me by and by. In a charge. In of a charge. The head of John the Baptist. I want you to cut John the Baptist's head off. Head off. That's hey, right. viewer. Have your bishop lost his head? Mm. Over some stockings? Has his whole preaching changed? Yeah. Has divorce now ceased to be preached against in the church? That's right. Because a voice spoke to him and said, that's his new wife? Yeah. I think of an old bishop that I knew as a child. I preached in Cambridge, Maryland. And then this old bishop came there who knew me before I was Pastor Jennings. Mm -hmm. He knew me when I was in the false church days. And after the service was over, he said he wanted to talk to him. And we sat at the table in the lobby. And he said, I know you'll stand. I'm proud of you. How <laughs> the work of the Lord. He wanted to butter me up first. That's right. <laughs> but this was one piece of bread that don't soak in butter. <laughs> That's right. Got Flattery the... don't mean nothing to me. Amen. Nothing. He got the butter out on your pastor. Huh? That's right. He got the butter out of the knife. He got the butter out. I mean, he would start wiping it, too. That's right. That's right. And pay that stuff no mind That's all that right. flattery and he said uh, I got four or five churches I would like to give them to you mm -hmm. I said you ain't got to give me nothing God made me a builder mm -hmm. he said I know you build churches but I'm getting old I want to turn my organization over to you I said what's the catch that's right what's the catch that's right because he know most young men you offer them churches oh lord they'll jump at it and, and they will sell out quicker than a dog can spit <laughs> amen I asked him, what's the catch? Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I know you preach against divorce. I said to myself, here we go. <laughs> Come on, Jay. But I knew him and his wife. Uh -huh. And he said, uh, the Lord spoke to me. And showed me that my secretary is my new wife. I knew his secretary. All of us used to fellowship together. Wow. And I asked him one question. Is your wife still living? He said, yeah, but she's sick and she can't aid me. I said, what about for better or worse? <laughs> you mean to tell me you only love her when she can move around? Yeah. He said, well, he said, I know what you're saying, but the Lord spoke. I said, the Lord ain't said nothing. <laughs> That's right. Your wife is still living. The That's Bible right. said your wife got to die. He said, I got a revelation. I said, they show me in the Bible where well, your wife ain't got to die in the New Testament. Right. That's right. He said, well, think about it. I said, I won't. That's right. He said, you missed out on four churches. I said, God, have blessed me to build 400 if need be. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care nothing about that mess. Nothing. Oh, no. I haven't heard from that false prophet since. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. You're right. Got that new meat. He's preoccupied. That's right. He's either preoccupied or dead. Or dead. What will a man give in exchange for his soul? His soul. If your error or sin with the man, with the woman, repent. But that man and woman is not worth turning your back on God for. No way. You're going to turn your back on God for him? For him. Or for her? Really? That's right. Hey, preacher, what did that woman offer you that made you leave out the entire church? My Lord. Well, I mean, what did that preacher offer you? Because he put you in a new car, gave you a new house, yeah. and made you turn your back on God? Yeah. Do you mean to tell me if a man buy you a house, that makes you leave God? Are you God. really that weak? That's right. That's right. Because a woman massaged your temples? <laughs> that make you want to leave your wife and children? In the book of first. And take care of somebody else's wife and children? Amen. How hell bound. Yeah. Here you got men making babies everywhere, won't take care of their babies. But then they'll marry somebody else. 
Here, let, let me say this. Let me say this right now. Glory to the Heavenly Father. <laughs> Anytime a man got several children from several different women and won't take care of those children, yeah. and you marry that man and think he's going to take care of yours, you about as dumb as a brick. <laughs> That's right. That's true. That's right. A man who will not take care of his children and you marry him, and you marry him. he ain't taking care of what comes from your womb. Because it is not in him to take care of children. That's right. It is in him to have sex, and that's it. That's it. That's right. That's true. That's true. Are you listening? Amen. 